So in this video, I'm going to be going over the steps I use to sketch any curve using calculus. So, the first step that I usually do is to find the domain of the function. And remember, the domain is the set of x values to which the function is restricted to. Next, I find any intercepts, so any y or x intercepts that may be present within the function. The third thing I do is to find the asymptotes, all of the asymptotes of the function, that is any horizontal asymptotes, any vertical asymptotes, or any oblique asymptotes of the function. The fourth step is where calculus kicks in, and I'm trying to use the first derivative test on the label as f d t, and within the first derivative test, I want to find two things. First, I want to find any mins or maxes, and second, I want to find the intervals of increase or decrease within the function. Intervals of increase or decrease. And I do this by first setting the derivative of f of x equal to zero, and then using the number line test. So the number line test. So I find the min mass at intervals of increase and decrease by setting the function setting the derivative of the function equal to zero, finding the x-coordinate that makes such that, and using the number line test. The fifth step is the concavity test, RHCT, and we have two functions also here. We want to find any POIs, or point of, points of inflection, or changes in concavity. And second, we want to find any, we want to find the intervals of concavity, so, intervals of concav concavity and we do this again by setting the second derivative of the function equal to zero and then again by using the number line test. After you have all this information you can now sketch the graph and it'll make it much easier. Thank you guys for watching and please comment and subscribe below. Don't!